In this video, I'm going to share with you how to add a timestamp in Excel without using VBA. If you want to learn how to do this, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. If you are working or using a tracker, it would be good to have a timestamp for each record that you are entering. You might think of two things to achieve this. One is to manually enter the date and time when you enter a certain record, and the other one is through VBA code. As we all know, doing it manually may lead to inaccurate information or maybe might miss this critical information. If you are not into VBA programming, you may also end up not to include this field anymore. This video tutorial will teach you how to write a formula that will record the timestamp whenever you enter or update an information in a certain field. We will break down the nested if statements in order to better understand how this formula works. Going back to our data, let's try to understand first our requirements here. We will focus in cells A2 and B2 first. Here in cell A2, we have a drop-down list of project status such as in the pipeline, in progress, and completed status. Our objective here is to create a timestamp whenever we make some changes in cell A2. But before we write our formula here, let's make some changes with the formatting in this range as we intend to display the date and time here. First thing that we need to do is to change the format of our cells. We could do this by selecting the range of cells, right click, format cells, then go to custom. We will format it as DD, MMM, YYYY, HHMMSS. So technically, we're formatting it as day, then abbreviated month, year, and in our minute and second format. The next thing that we must do, and this is actually a must thing to do in order to make this approach work, is to enable iterative calculation. This can be done by going to File menu, Options, Formulas, then click Enable Iterative Calculation. To repeat that, go to File Menu, Formulas, then click Enable Iterative Calculation. Our formula would be, if A2 is not equal to empty, if and B2 not equal to empty, cell address is equal to address, row a2 column a2 and then it will return uh, the current time and date if cell address is not equal to address row a2 column a2 b2 and then now so to better understand this let's try to split this nested ifs one by one our first condition is pretty straightforward we want to simply check whether if cell A2 has value or not. If it's true, then it will move to the next condition. Else then it will simply return blank. Our second condition has two arguments on it and this need to be met before, both in order to return the current time. Take note that the now function simply returns the system date and time. All right, our first criteria is to check whether B2 is not equal to blank. So technically, we're just checking if B2 has already value on it. Our second criteria is too much 
the cell address to the address in cell A2. Let's try to understand first what cell address function can do. Let's type equals cell address. If I will make some changes on cell A2, we can see that the cell address function calls the cell A2. If I go now in cell A7 and make some edits, you may now see it changing or referencing to cell A7. Now let's try the second formula. Equals address row A2 column A2. This formula technically calls the cell A2. When we combine it, if cells address is equal to address row A2 column A2, then it will return the current time if both of our conditions are met. If it's not met, then it will lead to the next if statement. Our next condition is pretty similar to our second condition. Earlier in our second condition, we're looking if the cell address is equal to A2. In our third condition, we're just checking if it's not equal. Let's try again this cell address. Looking back at the formula, if the cell address is not equal to cell A2, then the value will be the same in cell B2. Then if not, it will return the current date and time. Now that we have learned this formula all together, let's apply this to the succeeding cells and see how it works.